Good morning, friends. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you guys our um, cold brew pitcher. Isn't it? Let's just, let's just talk about the shape. It's beautiful. Um, it is a glass container. Comes with a silicone band around it to, you know, so it's easier to keep a hold of it when you're pouring your, um, either your coffee or your tea. Today we're going to be making coffee, cold brew coffee. This silicone band is removable so for easy care. You'll get the spout. Uh, it comes with the coffee filter and then a tea filter. Um, right now my kitchen is the middle of, we're remodeling the kitchen. So my tea one is in a box somewhere and I can't find it, I'm sorry. But it does come with a um, the coffee filter and a tea filter or infused water. You could put like a fruit in it to infuse your water if you like to do that. And then it comes with a lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and point you guys down so you guys can come with me as I make this cold brew coffee. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the insert or we're gonna put the filter on there first. Um, it has, right there's a little notch where it clicks into. So we're just gonna put it in there and we're gonna turn it and make sure it's locked in place. And we're gonna place this whole entire unit in there. Then we're gonna grab our coffee. And we're gonna do about, um, I like to fill it all the way up, the whole entire filter up with coffee. Um, this is a new scoop. It's our new um, three tablespoon scoop. So I'm not quite sure how much, how many scoops I'm gonna use to fill up the filter here. Looks like I'm going to need five. All right, that is exactly where I want it to be. Look how cute these are. That's the Ramsey. Hi Rambo, you coming to watch coffee? All right, now that we got our coffee in there, we're gonna go ahead and take, uh, I've got, I think, a little bit under eight cups of water here. Um, it's cold water that I got from um, my refrigerator. Ooh, I'm pouring it all over the tip counter. And we just let it drain and then we'll pour more. I'm gonna get a towel because I just made a huge mess. <laughs> Let's see. We could do this better next time. Next pour. <laughs> oh, you okay, Neves? Okay. Now that our grounds have gone back down, I'm gonna go ahead and pour again. And we're gonna wait for it to go down again. Somebody wants to have some. <laughs> Now, cold brew um, coffee is, um, if you have heartburn issues or you just can't have really acidic things, um, brewing your coffee uh, in the refrigerator instead of warm, it actually cuts down on the acidity. So that is why I like to do the cold brew coffee. I also like my coffee in the morning, I like it to be really warm and then towards the afternoon like when I get my little pick-me-up I like it to be a little I like it to be cold I like it over ice so that's why I use my cold brew pitcher okay so our water is down again so we're gonna go ahead and just pour a little bit more in there let it settle and do you see Look how dark and beautiful that coffee is. Now, I like my coffee very strong uh, because I like coffee creamer. I am addicted to coffee creamer. So uh, the stronger the coffee, the more creamer I can use. So I like to make my coffee strong for creamer purposes and for that nice little pick-me-up in the afternoon. 
So this is going down just a little bit more there. And we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more water. I don't think I'm gonna use the whole eight cups though. My little one's in the pantry. He's getting out the egg bite mold. Is that his his way of saying he wants egg bites for breakfast? Can you be quiet if you're recording? Oh, no worries. It's real life. You can come in. All right, so we're about, yeah, I can do that for you. So we're about a little bit halfway up the cylinder here. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more water. So I have about, I would say, two cups of water left. And it's slowly going down. Um, if you use finer, uh, more coarse, uh, less coarse, oh my goodness, what is the word I'm looking for? If you use less of a coarse of uh, coffee granules, it won't take as long for the water to seep through. I'm using espresso ground coffee, so it takes a little bit longer for the water to absorb down in it. But if you were using like the stuff that you can, I grind my own beans uh, in the deluxe uh, cooking blender. So if you use the ones that are store bought that are pre-ground for you, this, this uh, portion here will go a lot quicker for you because the grounds are, are bigger particles versus the ones that I do in my blender are more finer pro, um, particles. So let's go ahead and see where we're at water wise. We're about a little bit more water we're going to add here. And I like to fill it up to where it's about right here. Because then that gives me about mm, two or three days of cold brew before I have to refill it. So that's about, I would say, seven or eight cups of, uh, of cold brew. And we had about seven or about seven cups of water in this uh, container here. All right, I'm not gonna add any more water. I have about two cups left of water in this container. So I actually only used about five cups of a liquid in here. And I kinda like, see how it's, where it's at right there. I kind of like where it is there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the band back on here. Super easy, it's kind of got like these little buttons on here so this is quick and easy to put the little skirt thing back on it. I don't know what it's called. And then I put the lid over it like this, like so. And then I put it in the refrigerator for about hour, two hours. Um, and then I'm good to go to make my iced coffee. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Have a good one.